Hi, I'm Jonathan Soulsbach. One half of that. As a kid, and I think this is true for most kids, movies that you like as a kid, when you watch again later in life, turn out to be uh, not so great. I think that some films can be really bad, but really fun at the same time, like Super Mario Brothers. Today, my understanding of what makes a good movie is based on having seen many classic films from the 30s all the way through uh, late 60s, early 70s. The classics, those those had great stories. Sure, the visuals don't compare with today's, but they had something that modern movies don't have, and I think that was a dependency on story. Today's movies can skirt by with amazing visuals, and most people will say, that was a good movie. Story sucked, but it's a good movie. No, if the story sucked, the movie sucked. For me, a good movie must have a good story. Because that's what movies are. They are stories told through a visual medium. Now wait, John, you just said if it doesn't have a good story, you won't like it. And yet you like Super Mario Brothers. Well, I try to judge movies based on what they set out to accomplish. In the instance of Super Mario Brothers, the writers were not trying to tell an amazing story. They were trying to adapt a video game that had a paper-thin story as it was. In the process, Super Mario Brothers was wildly imaginative and it had, for the time, ambitious special effects, including some CGI. Practical effects, Bob Hoskins, John Leguizamo, Dennis Hopper. It's not even my favorite film, but I like to defend it from the standpoint of, hey, this movie knew what it wanted to do. You might not like the movie, but it succeeded. Personally, what makes a good story to me? A good story is one that owes as little as possible to its media. By that, I simply mean, does the story stand on its own, whether it's a screenplay, a radio play, a novel, or a comic book? Is it a good story, independent of the way that you consume it? Is it a story that people want to tell other people? How accessible is the story? Does it have themes that resonate throughout various cultures? Character types and themes translate. Behind me is the logo for Cinema Filibuster. I am a graphic designer. I'm employed as a graphic designer. I was not formally schooled in the graphic arts. I just did it and liked it and did it some more. It's not a good defense. I also studied video when I went to school. Didn't finish that. I did finish English. I am an English graduate and I have a vocabulary of huge stuff. So why am I doing Cinema Filibuster? The answer is twofold. First, YouTube has the potential to be a fantastic forum for discussing movies. It's not enough for Sean and I to simply spit out a movie review and have you watch it. What I would like to see is people commenting, people discussing in the comment section about a certain movie. What did they like? What didn't they like? Why? Movies are stories, and stories or storytelling is the primary preoccupation of the human race. Stories go deep. They resonate across cultures. They bind the galaxy together. Stories. Second, I think Sean Hastings is a very talented individual with a lot of interesting things to say. And if I can help him have a forum for espousing those thoughts and bits of information, well then, more power to you, Sean. I say that in jest, but I mean it with sincerity. Thank you for watching. I am Jonathan Solzbach. Adios.